What's up YouTube, Mr. Computer Answers here, and today there's not going to be so much of a tutorial, more of a which one is right for you, uh, After Effects, or this new hit film, Ultimate. Um, so let's go ahead and start, and start this. Uh, so to start off, the main difference between these two, why someone wouldn't want to buy After Effects, is the price. And for their standard hit film, it's 150 and if you're planning on uh, advancing in your videos then really this standard edition won't be sufficient for you all these non-checked boxes are what you actually need see a young filmmakers video you need the ultimate so for ultimate it's four hundred dollars so if we go over to look at after effects we've got a nice site they both have fairly nice size. This one seems a little bit more complex, which is good and bad. Um, anyways, for the price, it's thousand dollars for just the After Effects, which is what I'm comparing with the Ultimate here. So, what I have actually is the, the CS5 Production Premium. Now that this is 5.5, they don't have CS5 on their site anymore, but for the price of that, uh, it's about $1,800. However, I got the student and teacher one, which is $450. Now, this is from the Adobe site. Going back to HitFilm, it's $400. So would you, wouldn't you be willing to spend $50 more for high, higher quality of stuff? And this isn't just After Effects. This is also a Premiere Pro CS 5.5 After Effects Edition all of this stuff included it's not just this hit just that one after effects compositor so you can go over to amazon and get it for 20 bucks cheaper which is what i did and this is mac it's actually cheaper for uh, the pc version but anyways now going on to help and tutorials for after effects versus hit film um, with After Effects, you've got literally thousands of sites and YouTube videos demonstrating how to use it. Cool stuff. Your Video Copilot, amazing site, gives you so many awesome tutorials. Very good. You've got Grayscale Gorilla, his After Effects. He gives you tons of uh, tutorials. A Tut, very nice site. Again, very very nice. Versus HitFilm, you've got this one YouTube site which actually does have quite a bit of videos however it's just one site whereas these have so many and if you were to just look up After Effects tutorials on YouTube there would be so much more many more than just hit film tutorials in addition After Effects is able to be integrated with its dynamic link server between all of the products that come with this with the, the suite that you buy from Adobe in addition, After Effects comes with this amazing tracker called Mocha. Very good. It's a planar tracker. There's not as many tutorials on this, but then again, go ahead and look at uh, HitFilm. I'm sure it'll have a point tracker, which just uses pixels, which After Effects has too. Uh, but After Effects comes with Mocha. And also, if you were to track something in the program Buju or PF Track or something like that, they, they'll, they'll be able to export the tracking data to After Effects and a few other compositors and its 3D programs but they won't be able to export it to hit film that's a huge negative huge for me because I, I need that I need that uh, ability also looking at 30 party plugin wise there's a gazillion more plugins for After Effects a billion if you go back to videocopilot.net They've got all this stuff that is amazing for After Effects. And also this particular two, great plugin. All the plugins from Red Giant, very high quality. Okay, so as far as HitFilm goes, I looked up plugins for HitFilm Ultimate. And nothing. No obvious plugin site. And then plugins just for HitFilm. Nothing. However, I did click on this and it brought me to a very interesting point is that this software does come 
with a few more features that After Effects does not come with, with just its base self. However, you can buy third-party plugins that would compensate for this, and the third-party plugins are a lot better than what comes with HitFilm. HitFilm has lens flares and true 3D particles and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is actually pretty cool. Also, this HitFilm here does not work with Mac products. So, Mac users, there's no reason to even consider this. Your only option would be either After Effects or some other compositor. Also, for Adobe, you can also buy that Master Collection. They'll have it on Amazon, too, both for student and teacher discount. But to sum up, what I would recommend is, if you're on a PC, that is, for downloading HitFilm, download the demo for HitFilm, and then also download this Adobe Production Premium demo, and try them both out. See what you like, see what's different, see, go through all the tutorials, see what you like, and think about how much, how, if you're willing to spend 30 extra dollars, maybe even 20 extra dollars, to buy more programs for a better price, but overall, I would definitely recommend this Adobe Production Premium student and teacher discount to anyone over hit them. Okay, also, when you do buy this uh, student and teacher discount, there's a tiny bit of a hassle, not that big, tiny bit of a hassle. What you actually have to do is they send you an email to a link, and you have to put in this code that comes on the box. And also what you have to do is provide what school you go to and a photocopy ID of the school or you're proving, basically proving that you're a teacher or a student. But once you do that, it actually comes, it, they prove it really fast and I got mine. I, I did that all in, uh, let's say, Monday and I, I got the, the serials for the actual thing. The very, or no, I got it two days so I would get it Wednesday. Which isn't that bad. 